Hey y'all, good morning. It's uh, March the 8th, 2015. And look what I got here. Damn, I don't know if you can see it. It's called Hydroxy Cut Drops. Now I found this in the kitchen and it's my mom's. I didn't buy it. Alright, just to let you know. And to give you kind of a background story, I don't want to get into too many personal details, but as you can see, for me, uh, I'm in pretty decent shape. In fact, probably in the best shape that I've ever been. And I always keep getting in better shape due to watching my uh, nutrition, um, staying active every day, uh, just, you know, living a pretty reasonable lifestyle or whatever. My mom, on the other hand, she worships all at the altar of Satan, which I call a television set. Alright, so the television set makes her buy things that she doesn't know why she's buying it. She's just mesmerized. She's too mesmerized to know why she's buying things um, or from who. Alright, so, and, and then another detail is that my mom, and I'm almost 30, I'm 28 years old. Uh, ever since I can ever remember, my mom's been overweight. Considerably overweight, not to say like fatally obese, but definitely, definitely overweight. And so, you know, being being overweight, the television will convince you to buy more stuff. And I know that, hey, I mean, maybe your son, uh, he might be in good health and he might be doing things that seems like he's doing all the right things, but he's not on television. And so, therefore, he knows nothing. He's a stupid bum who works at a Chinese food restaurant, and he knows nothing, because he'll never be on television. And that's pretty much the mindset. So when you continue to think about things like this and trust people who aren't to be trusted, you're going to go ahead and you're going to start buying products like this, hydroxy cut drops, which I guess is a new item from hydroxy cut. Drop it in your water and drink it. <clears throat> now, I took a... A little peek at the ingredients, and it didn't take long for me to become very, very concerned. I'm going to run you through real quick. All right, the active ingredients uh, are green coffee bean extract. It's about 200 milligrams. Sounds pretty good. Uh, from what I heard, green coffee, or, uh, green coffee is pretty dang good. It's full of a lot of nutrients that'll help you out. So I'm not, I'm not really complaining about that. And then plus, uh, you got caffeine. Uh, about 50 milligrams per serving. Now, I love caffeine. I've always been addicted to caffeine. Gotten away from it. Um, and since I've gotten away from it, I noticed that very, very small amounts will actually get me all tweaked out. You know what I'm saying? It, it'll do the trick just by taking, like, maybe a couple sips of soda and then walking away from it. I still feel tweaked out. So, the thing is, I've always been a fan of caffeine, although I do try and stay away from it as much as possible. All right, now let's go into the other ingredients, the inactive ingredients, which, which are really what's concerning when you when you actually read them, which my mom has not read, and I can guarantee you. All right, we got water. That sounds pretty all right. That's pretty neutral ingredient. And then the next ingredient is citric acid, which is another ingredient that I've heard a lot. I mean, it comes from fruit. It's the acid in fruits and stuff, so that that also seems pretty agreeable. All right. And we got ethyl alcohol. That's the next ingredient. Now, uh, part of you might say, well, why, why is alcohol in there? I don't know why it's in there. I don't know. Maybe it's like a fat promoting, fat burning promoting type thing as far as alcohol. As far as I know, alcohol, you drink it to get drunk. You get a little bit drunk. And that's what it does. So I don't know. Maybe that's what they're trying to do, too. I don't know. But I really couldn't tell you. I tried to research a little bit why, why they would use it. I don't know why they would use it. Natural and artificial flavors is the next one and I gotta admit that's one of my favorite of all time because natural and artificial flavors when it's put on an ingredient for it <clears throat> what that basically means is it's none of your damn business all right you bought the product but who cares if you know what's in there we're gonna say artificial flavors and that means anything under the sun that we can think to put in there <clears throat> And you don't deserve to know. Why Why do you think you deserve to know what's in the product that you bought? That's that's what that ingredient means. 
All right, and then we're gonna get past that because there's no way to know what what that really means. Uh, past that is sodium citrate, which actually I looked into. It's kind of like a byproduct, or it kind of coincides with citric acid. It's also not. It's not too um, maleficent or whatever. So I, I kind of pissed it, got past that. But the next one, uh, get ready, because here, here comes diabetes. The next one is sucralose, artificial sweetener. You're going to find a lot of websites that, that talk about just how safe it is. And you're going to find a lot of websites that might talk about the diabetes you're going to get from it. Uh, all sorts of side effects. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? It's a pretty disputed on um, ingredient. You're going to find it pretty concerning if you ever type it into a search engine. The next one is, um, let's see, aso as it's hard to pronounce, asosophane potassium, which also will go ahead and give you some diabetes if that's what you're trying to get. It's been linked to all sorts of stuff and all sorts of side effects. Um, so that's already artificial ingredients you don't deserve to know what it is sucralose you don't i mean that's going to give you diabetes some asosophane potassium that's also going to give you diabetes and some we're also going to give you alcohol so it gets you a little bit drunk i'm not sure why next ingredient after that we're talking about like a little uh they call it a stabilizer blend i guess to make it stable pretty much what it does is call you got cellulose gel you got sucrose and you got cellulose gum. Cellulose gel and cellulose gum for the most part are just filler. They're used to make something, uh, make more of it and it does hardly anything except fill it up. Uh, so they're selling you junk. They're selling you what appears to be poisons and then also junk to make the poisons bigger and, and more stable apparently. Uh, so you got that, you got that sucrose, which is known for giving people diabetes. So, you know, I mean, in case the first two ingredients that are known to try and give you diabetes don't work, here's the third ingredient that might as well give you diabetes and other various side effects. All right. But just in case those don't work and the artificial ingredients, which we're not going to tell you about, just in case that doesn't work, here's another thing that may or may not give you diabetes. And then even after that, that's not good enough. We got FD and C red number 40, which actually goes by a few different names. Uh, the most important thing to note about the FD and C uh, red number 40 is that it's using most of the food products that are dyed red in the United States or have a red tint, like for example, uh, candy canes or any sort of red candy or any sort of like bacon bits at a store or any sort of like grits or whatever, like if they happen to have a weird red tint. Most of the time in the United States, it's going to be red number 40. And this is a substance that's been banned in several different countries, banned for it. Now, uh, probably because it's not good for you. That's probably why it's banned. Uh, here, we use it all the time. All right, and it makes little children act crazy. On record, I mean, they've done, uh, you know what I'm saying, experiments with it and realize that it just makes kids go crazy. So, I mean, I imagine it might, I, I guess it'll help you lose weight. Anyways, that's another ingredient. We're getting towards the end. Uh, and then they throw in xanthan gum, which, you know, I guess would be another stabilizer. That That's something that I've heard of before, so we're going to skip past that. And then, last but very not least, it's a preservative to make sure that it stays good for you and, and your belly. We got potassium sorbate. All right, and I looked into that. According to healthnewschannel.net, potassium sorbate as a preservative is completely safe for you. Nothing wrong with it at all. I mean, if you read healthnewschannel.net, you're gonna you're gonna see that there's that there's nothing. Uh, hold on one second. That there's nothing wrong with it. Uh, the side effects could include diarrhea, nausea, allergic reaction, and a loss of nutrients in some people. Other than that, there's nothing wrong with it. According to healthnewschannel.net. Um, so as you can see, it's pretty much a cacophony of ingredients of things that you absolutely don't want to put in your body. You want to avoid at all costs putting in your body. All right, and it's going to help you burn fat. And it's going to help you look like the people on television. All right, and you don't have to get up and do nothing. You can sit on the couch 
with your little hand weights and do this and do this for maybe a few minutes. And if you take this hydroxy cut, eventually you're gonna start looking like people, uh, celebrities on the television. Now, you may also get diabetes and a whole list of other health problems, but so long as you look like the cele celebrities on the television, that, that should all cancel itself out. All right, that, I mean, that's my quick segment on it. Uh, you know what I'm saying? I'm not gonna hardly do many more of these just because you get the point. But I am going to put out there that I do go to different vitamin uh, places, such as HEB, uh, they'll have vitamins, or GNC, or uh, the vitamin shop. And to be honest, out of all three of them, probably the best place to go is the vitamin shop, in my personal opinion, because they have a great selection. Uh, not only that, you're going to find that a lot of these um, supplements, nutritional supplements, especially the... the weight training ones and, and gaining muscle and stuff, you're going to notice that they're a lot more filled with ingredients like this, artificial ingredients and different other things that might cause health problems, along with the ingredients that help you build muscle and things, so you might want to watch out for that. The reason I recommend the Vitamin Shop is because their um, in-house brand name uh, things that they make themselves are usually one of the, the cleanest thing to find on the market and they'll, and they'll not have all these different um, artificially concocted ingredients. That's why I recommend the vitamin shop. Also, I mean, uh, I don't want to have to tell you if you don't want to read the ingredients. Let me just tell you, if you don't want to read the ingredients on the back of your, um, on the back of what you're ingesting into your body, then you already know what it is, all right? I don't have to tell you what you got in store for yourself. Uh, anyways, let me talk to y'all later. Be really ready to go to work. All right, hopefully I'll make a video uh, later for y'all. So. But anyway, um, thank you for listening. I'll be back. Here's how you, if you want to be like a celebrity, there's a close-up. Anyways, bye-bye.